I'm about to read you folks something that if your heart is beating, it should make your blood boil. But first, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And what the heck is up with Trump and Republicans and the cruelty towards dogs? A lot of people choke. They choke like dogs. They can't breathe. Oh. He choked. He went away. He choked. It's just like a dog. He choked. <laughs> I'm watching Marco sweating like a dog on my right. And he was fired like a dog. They throw you the hell out like a dog. This is Governor Mitt Romney's second trip to Pittsburgh, and he is now facing some tough questions. Published reports say during a family trip in the 80s, Romney loaded his dog into a pet carrier and strapped the carrier to the roof of the car for the entirety of the 12-hour trip. She lied like a dog. I see her barking like a dog. Fast forward to today, where many of us are learning that Governor Christy Noem uh, who infamously posted that super creepy video about how great my out-of-state dentist is. Well, hi, I'm Christine Nome. I'm the governor of South Dakota and had the opportunity to come to Smile, Texas to fix my teeth, which has been absolutely amazing. She's one of the front runners to be selected as Donald Trump's vice presidential running mate. She apparently wrote a book that maybe she should have thought twice about, like that creepy dental video. Ugh. But at the very least, Maybe she should have thought twice about including this segment about what she did to a 14-month-old dog named Cricket that she deemed untrainable. In an article by The Guardian, it writes, In 2024, Christy Nome, a strong contender to be named running mate to Donald Trump, the presumptive Republican nominee, has managed to go one further by admitting killing a dog of her own. I hated that dog, Gnome writes, adding that Cricket had proved herself untrainable, dangerous to anyone she came in contact with, and less than worthless as a hunting dog. At that moment, Gnome says, I realized I had to put her down. Gnome, who also represented her state in Congress for eight years, got her gun, then led Cricket to a gravel pit. It was not a pleasant job, she writes, but it had to be done. And after it was over, I realized another unpleasant job needed to be done. And then she proceeded to kill a goat. Rick Wilson of the anti-Trump Lincoln Project called Noam deliberately cruel and trash. Ryan Buse, the Democratic candidate for governor of Montana, said... Anyone who has ever owned a bird dog knows how disgusting, lazy, and evil this is. Damn. We shouldn't be surprised by any of this. The Republican Party's brand is that cruelty is the point. Whether it's working to take away health care from millions of insured Americans so that the ultra-wealthy can get a tax cut, or denying school kids a free lunch, or taking away a woman's right to decide what's best for her and her family, the cruelty is the point. Don't vote for cruelty. Vote for decency. Vote for kindness. Vote for puppies. Vote for health care. Vote for a woman's right to choose. Vote blue for Democrats and President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. I'm Brooklyn Dad for Really American. Make sure you click the like and subscribe button.